The patient lies supine with involved leg beside the examiner. The examiner holds the patient in between full extension and 30 degrees of flexion. The patient's femur is stabilized with one of the examiner's hand, while the proximal aspect of the tibia is moved forward with the other hand. The patient is seated with the leg over the edge of the examining table. The examiner sits facing the patient while stabilizing the thigh with one hand and pulls the tibia forward with the other hand. The patient lies supine with the knee resting on the examiner's knee. One of the examiner's hands stabilizes the femur against the examiner's thigh and the other hand applies the anterior stress. The patient is seated with the leg hanging from the examining table. One of the examiner's hands stabilizes the femur against the table while the patient's foot is held between the examiner's knees. The examiner's other hand is then free to apply the anterior translation. The patient lies supine while the examiner stabilizes the foot between the examiner's thorax and arm. Both hands are placed around the tibia and an anterior drawer movement is performed. The examiner sits beside the leg to be tested with the eyes level with the knee. The examiner grasps the femur with one hand and the tibia on the other hand. The tibia is pulled forward and any abnormal motion is noted. The patient lies prone and the examiner stabilizes the foot between the examiner's thorax and arm and places one hand around the tibia. The other hand stabilizes the femur. The patient lies supine with the knee over the examiner's forearm so that the knee is flexed approximately 30 degrees. The patient is asked to actively extend the knee and the examiner watches for anterior displacement of the tibia. This test is the same with the modification 7 but it is carried out with the foot held down on the table to increase the pull of the quadriceps muscle.